I've heard worse, I've said worse. But does that make Montrez right about what he said? Absolutely not, right? But it's a competitive game. All right, he apologized, he manned up, and Luca accepted it. I feel like we need to move on. Now, what Montrez messed up at is, he shouldn't have poked that bear. He shouldn't have told him that because he woke up a sleeping giant. People say that Luca wasn't offended. I believe he was offended by watching them play last night and what he did to the Clippers because the Clippers, listen, the Clippers have a deep team. They have Kawhi Leonard, who's a champion. They have a championship coaching staff, but nobody else on that team has won the championship. And they do a lot, a lot of barking. They do a lot of barking, no biting. They do a lot of barking and no biting. Now they have to back it up. So what they should have did, he barked up the wrong tree by waking up this 21-year-old stud in Luka Doncic. But, yeah. you know, the way he handled it, I, I appreciate Montrez, right, for going up, being a bigger person, squash it. But right now I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the Los Angeles Clippers, and they're beefing more on social media with people than they're beefing with the guys mm -hmm. on the court and handling their business. So just to switch the topic for a well, minute, the Clippers need to get their priorities together and go out on the court perform and quit worrying about what's going on and all this barking and go out there and start doing some biting. But on the flip side of it, I, okay. I think, you know, they handled it, they squashed it between them two, and let it be gone. Let it be over. Well, 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 KP, I think you're right on all your points, but I think the basketball element of this is secondary for the purposes of this discussion. I think what you brought up about Montrell's Herald apologizing, and you also brought up about the noise that the Clippers appear to be making in social media, I think those are the two biggest points. And this is why I think we should appreciate, we should take a moment to appreciate Montrell's Herald and Luka Doncic and what we saw from them. First of all, uh, Luka Doncic is European. He's not white. You know, when we talk about slavery in this country, Country and whatever that's conflating the issues to some degree I get all of that I was talking about the color of your skin and why uh, Montrell said what he said but in the end his willingness to apologize and Luka Doncic's willingness to accept it is a big thing because KP you know this is a former player in the NBA the guys there are not everybody not most but there are far too many guys in professional sports that are mentally soft when it comes to absorbing criticism. They can't look it in on face value and think about what you say. They're listening to who reacts to it, what the reactions are to what people say, and they react off of that, heightening their level of sensitivity, and they respond and retaliate in a very immature fashion. And sometimes that leads to trouble. And so when we see guys that man up like Montrell's just did and embraces that apology the way Luca did and then move on their merry way, it's basically about how things should be between two men. You got mm -hmm. a difference, you discuss it, you handle it, you move on. And unfortunately, well, also we don't see that enough, but we saw that with them, and it's a model of how things should be when people have differences, and that's, why I, that's what I think should be highlighted and pointed out and appreciated. No doubt about it, but the main problem with Montrez is he lied. Like, like Luca gave him that work. If you say B A white boy to Luca, the B better better mean bad. He's a bad A white boy because he. But he, gave he apologized him that before work the game, man. Won the game. But he apologized yeah, before I know, the I game. I get it. I get it. But he apologized it. before the game. I get it. Um, but it's not like Luca hasn't been giving everyone work since he got in the league. There's not like the main problem with what, what Montrez said was not the white boy part. The main problem was what preceded it. Number one, it's not true. And number two, them's fighting words. I mean, that's what it is. There were people who I called mean, the listen. NBA so, and were asking, what are you going to do about what Montrez well, Harrell that's, said to Luca Doncic? Let me say something that's about that a real serious quick. issue. Hey, Perk, let me just say something about that real quick. The kind of uh, white grievance politics that goes on in this country right now is an outrage. The fact that white people are, are, are uh, and, you know, it's a generalization, but it works if you turn, look at the way the country voted, for example, in the last general election, have this whole kind of grievance politics. White people in America have grievance politics? Think about how insane that is. So, mm. so those people who are talking about the double standard, again, they're embarrassing themselves. That is, of course, there is, that there are access to certain words in our vocabulary, in slang words in, a, in particular, that are more available without social, social sanction against it. 
to oppressed groups than the groups that have oppressed. What is, this is like baby stuff. Uh, I, but look, you know, to, to Montrez's defense, right, in, in, in the NBA, they have a certain amount of guys that, that, that play off emotion. Like, they get they self going, they talk noise. I played with one of the biggest trash talkers in the world in Kevin Garnett. That's how he got going. He loved to talk noise. Anybody fire back at him, that's what got him going. And Montrez is that type of guy. He's an emotional guy. He loved, that's what he thrive off of. He, he actually brings a, a swagger to the Clippers team. Uh, he gives them that, 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 that's the reason that we we call them rough riders. He's one. He's the making up of that team, and why they call them a rough riders. That's why you say that there's some dogs, Stephen A. Because they have a guy like Montrez. I'm not agreeing with what he's saying, but just, he's an emotional guy. He talk noise. That's how he get going. You know, he apologized for what he said, and and, and like I said, you know, it, it's time to move on. Luca accepted it. He accepted it. He told him it's all good. He went out there and gave the Clippers that work. So we all need to move forward and look forward to game five. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.